So today I will be showing you how you can install your SEOs, Yoast SEO login to your website. So uh, they were my, so today I will be showing you how you can install Yoast SEO plugin to your website and to also connect it to your Google Analytics then set up your search console then also submit your sitemap so the the main purpose for doing this is to make sure that whenever you you make a post or you publish a content to your website so that google can come and and it may crawl your website so that said for you to do, do that you're going to do a few things then the the number one thing you are going to do is that you must have a gmail account for you to be able to search to um, set up this uh, stuff uh, then also you must have a website for you to be able to do this as well so without wasting most of your time my name is david and i make videos around making money online how to write content how to design website and how to carry out digital marketing for your business if this resonates to you kindly subscribe to my channel so that when i drop also videos like this you'll be the first to receive them that said if you need a website for your business or for maybe a portfolio i am the best guy to do that for you and i can help you to do that at a, at an affordably low price so that said, let us get started to what we have today and I will show you exactly how you can set up used SEO plugin for your website and you will be able to, to, to connect it to your Google Analytics so that you can see all your website visitors to your website. So that said, let us get started. So the, the first thing you're going to do is to make sure that you write the name of your website, then you then you just write login. So Yeah, so now All right, so here, here you are going to write out your own um, username and your password. Then the next thing to do, so the next thing to do is for you to just do the math. You just write um, eight plus uh, five, which is um, thirteen. Then, then you now click on login. All right, so the stuff now is now lo login. So right now we are now on our dashboard. The first thing we are going to do here is that we are going to to um, go to plugin. Then we just click on add new. So when you click on add new, it will show up. So when it show up like this, you just going to to um, scroll down. So when you when so when you just scroll down, you are going to to type yours because yours yours uh so so all you do is is to just click on install now. Then you just click on activate. So yours plugin is the is the SEO plugin. We are going to use to make sure that uh, Google reaches our site 
through that um, plugin so the default the after you have success successfully installed yours seo the next thing to do is to click on start first time configuration so when you just click on that the next thing to do is to just screw down all right so when 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 you just screw down so you are going to to just click on on start seo data optimization so that your plugin can now view all the data in your website All right, so you can see that we have successfully analyzed your site. So the next thing to do is, is just click on continue. So all these data are what uh, all these data are what the site um, uh, um, gather up. So and and all these are what we wrote on the site before now. So that is that is the website logo all you have to do is just click on save and continue so the next thing to do is to add uh all your own site image, image social media handles if you have but for this site i think i only have a uh, instagram so all i will do is to just copy the the url of that um, is instagram then i will come and paste it here All right, so I have gotten the um, URL of that Instagram. All I will do is to just click on Add Other Social Profile. So all I will do is to just click on and I may paste it there. So so when I paste it, then I will just click on Save and Continue. So that is that. The next step to do is to use use as you use 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 tracker. So I will just say yes, you can track my sad data. So. So next thing is to just save and continue. So we are now at the, at the finish. So we're now going to go to your to your SEO dashboard. So here, here we are going to do another thing, which is to
so all this stuff we just show up so when they show up the next thing to do is to is to submit our site map but before we, we will submit our site map we have to go and and install another plugin which is called uh google site kit so all we do is to just go to plugin then we could come on who could then we'll not click on adding then we we'll just click on search for it site kit google so when you search for it it will show up so when when it show up the first thing is you click on install now then followed by ad activate so when you have successfully ad activated it the next thing to do So when you have successfully activated then, then you have to go to your site kit dashboard. So here we are going to, to make, make connect our site to Google Analytics. But first of all, we have to, to just tick on this point, connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. Then, then you just click on sign in with Google. So here we are going to just click on our website. So that is that is the website. Here we are going to also select all pri pri privileges, send and download your Google anal 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 Analytics data, view and manage search console data for your verified site. Then we we'll also click on manage all the list of sites and domain on your control so we're just going to click on continue so here we're just going to click on verify google have have verify google site ownership verify so it's loading So the next thing, turn on metrics in your dashboard. So so just click on allow and set up. So set up Google Analytics. So to understand how this stuff find I use your site half set. So you just to just click on next. so finally we have set up google site key so it's not trying to an analyze our website so this is all the um, data about our site so the next thing is to choose your country for this website it is in nigeria so i'll do it so just look for nigeria then i then i then i'll select it So it's Nigeria, I'll do it. So just select it, then I'll just click on create account. So at this point, we are going to set up, we are trying to set up our Google Analytics. So we just click on our May and select all privileges and all that. So we just click on continue. So the whole process is quite easy and simple. After this, we are going to have all our data being recorded by google so from there we can see the number of visitors to our site so here all you have to do is to just change change it to your to your country so here we're still going to select nigeria we just click on accept the next thing Thing is to just click on Google product and say then then we are still going to accept. So last thing I accept. So success. So your 
your analytics account was successfully created so we have to, to go now to our site dashboard so the stuff now is not trying to um, gather all the gather all the data from the site so the next thing for us to do now is to connect our site to google search console so that uh, we can know the number of persons that are that are coming to our site so for us to do that we are going to click on on google search console this is where we are going to submit our site map so we just have to click on google search console to submit our site map so that google can crawl all the whole information on our site and to ensure that our website show up on google whenever somebody searches for 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 I mean, any keywords relating to our site on google so here yeah, we are now here to submit our, our site map so the next thing to do is, is to just is to just click on start so so we are now here so the next thing now is to just click on site map so for us to do that we are going to go back to our website dashboard so then we'll now go to used use then then we just click on settings so when you click on settings we are going to look for site map which is usually at the very bottom so this is it so now we are going to to just click on site map so all we do is to just click there then there we are going to get the site map so this is our site map the so the the part where it start from slash is our site map so we just have to do is, is to just copy that part and go and paste it on on google so the next thing to do is to just click on submit site map so when you submit site map sometimes okay you can see that site map successfully submitted but said couldn't fetch data this can happen but most time when you just click on that particular stuff is going to to maybe show you a, a, a successful message which it has shown us so the next thing to do is to go back to our overview so we have to go back to our overview so you can you can see it says security one detected uh so that is that then we have to go back to, to the site map you can see that it's showing but when we refresh the page is going to show successful so let us just try and refresh the page so you can see now that our site map has been successfully submitted so how so guys this is this is exactly how to submit your your site map to google then this is how to make sure that your site appears on google this is how to set up your site for used seo and for google crawling so if you like video like this kindly subscribe to my channel so that when i drop awesome videos like this you will be the first to receive them and get notified please if you need a website for your business or for your for for your for your e-commerce store i am the best guy to help you handle that that said let us end this video yet and thank you very much for watching may god bless you